Hello friends, it's good to be with you. Just before we start with the life group video for the week, just like to tell you that Sean, who's currently in India, uh, preaching the gospel and ministering in the churches there, uh, alongside Stephen from New Creation Church. So Sean uh, sends his love and regards. He says he's praying for us. And if I can ask you to please continue to pray for him, that the, the gospel would uh, be preached with boldness. And also, if you can pray for Vash and the kids who are still here in South Africa, eagerly awaiting the return of their, their dad and their husband. And uh, yeah, Sean, we pray for you that you return home to us safely. Just a couple of announcements. The prayer meetings have started on uh, Wednesday nights at 6.30. That's at the church where we gather as uh, corporately to demonstrate our reliance on the Lord. And everybody in the church is invited to join those prayer meetings. This last week, we had the privilege of praying for the ladies' meeting that happened on Thursday. Then Lee Robinson, who's ministered in our church before at the, uh, the marriage course, he'll be ministering to us next Sunday. Uh, so please make a point of inviting friends and family so that we may be mutually blessed with the message. Then hospital ministries happen on Friday. That's headed up by Ficky. He uh, heads up that ministry. If you would like to get involved with that, that's where you go to Helen Joseph Hospital to deliver food parcels to, to those that are, are sick in the hospital. It's a wonderful time to, to pray for them and encourage them in the Lord. Then Career Build. We urgently need intercessors for Career Build. It's two Saturdays in the next uh, upcoming weeks where you would give up of your time to go through and uh, intercede for some of the learners, pray for them and encourage them in the Lord. Please, if you're interested in doing that, contact Nswaki. She is available at, uh, I'll give you her email address. It's nswaki at impopomo.org.za. And that's N-T-S-O-A-K-I. It's nswaki at impopomo, I-N-P-O-P-H-O-M-O dot org dot Z-A. Then on to the life group questions today. I can ask you to read out aloud Genesis 5. It's chapter 5, verse 1, all the way to Genesis chapter 6 and verse 8. So we see that in Genesis chapter 5 and even in Genesis chapter 4, that, that all flows out of what happened in the garden in Genesis chapter 3. That's where Adam and Eve sin. They don't listen to the righteous word of God. They rebel against God and eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And that brings a curse upon them and also on, uh, on the earth. And everything that we see that unfolds from then on is because of what's, uh, what happened in that rebellion. So the first question is that we can see the comparison in chapter 4 with, uh, with regards to Cain and his, his rebellion and rejection of God's warning. And what happens to his line of descendants through Lamech, which ends up in uh, Lamech's uh, gangster rap, as, uh, as Gus said, or his poem of, uh, of vengeance, saying that his vengeance would be 77-fold. If, uh, if Cain's was only seven. And uh, we, uh, Gus rightly said, in that moment, we could see that that sin that was crouching at the door that uh, God had warned Cain would happen, it was now actually entered in and was devouring him, even though he was blind to see it. But we see the, the converse, the, uh, the contrast in chapter five, where God is pleased with Enoch through the faith that he has. And uh, Enoch doesn't see death, but God takes him, the scripture says. And uh, it's just a, such a contrast of somebody who is submitted to God versus somebody who is rebelling against God. So in the light of this, how does this help us to make decisions when we are faced with temptation, knowing what pleases God and what displeases God? The second question is, do we see the faithfulness of God in keeping with his promise that he made in the garden to Adam and Eve? That, the, that his seed would flow from Seth all the way through down to Noah in accordance with his promise. And if so, if you see that, does that encourage you in your faith, knowing that what God has promised in his word, that he will be faithful to bring to completion, no matter what the circumstances are in your life? And then the third question is that we see the wickedness that was so prevalent in the, the line of Cain, which is highlighted in chapter 4 was also prevalent in, uh, in the line of Seth, that, uh, that sin that was crouching at the door was not just for Cain's line, but we see that uh, the proof of that is that in chapter 6, it says that uh, God was displeased with humanity because there wasn't uh, any thought in the human mind that wasn't wicked or evil, um, save for, for Noah. 
And uh, God chose to be pleased with Enoch and, he, and uh, Noah found favor in God's sight. And how, as we as Christians today, does that apply to our lives? Are you a believer? Do you realize that you have found favor in the Lord's sight? And you have found favor in the Lord's sight because he has sent his son, Jesus. If you've put your faith in Jesus Christ, you've found favor with the Lord. So the question is, is how do we please God? The same as Enoch, we walk with the Lord. Are you walking with the Lord in a way that would please him? And that's the question today. Can we please him as we seek to, uh, to be his disciple, as we seek to live a righteous life apart from sin? Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, uh, a good time with Life Group and Fellowship, and be blessed.